When filling up a water bucket, always use cold water and only fill it halfway full so that it doesn't splash when you are washing your brush. When you are washing paint off of your brush, make sure that you put your brush all the way to the bottom of the water bucket and gently tickle the bottom to help wiggle out any excess paint. Before painting with a freshly washed brush, it's important to get excess water off of the brush before dunking it into the liquid tempera, otherwise it will water it down. You can do that with a paper towel or by using your placemat and getting the extra water off that way. When you are painting with your brush, the metal part of your paintbrush should never have paint on it, just the bristles. And when you are painting, you should always drag your brush along and never scrub it down. It gives you a bad line and it ruins the paintbrush bristles. If you forget to dry your brush before you dunk it in the paint, you will end up with a very watery mess when you go to try to paint. With a dry brush, if you wash it and then dry it on your placemat or with a paper towel, you can control the paint a lot better and produce a much thinner, cleaner line. Like so. Whenever you are painting along the edge of a paper, it's always important that you have a placemat in case you accidentally go off onto the table. It will reduce the amount of cleanup you have to do because instead of painting on the tabletop, you'll be painting onto the placemat. When you are finished painting during cleanup, all of your painting materials, including mixing palettes and brushes, go into the bucket in the sink. When washing dirty paint brushes, it's important that all of the tops are at the same length. And I usually wash between five and 10 at a time. The best way to wash is to get two pumps of soap on your, the palm of your hand. Take your brush, the brushes, swirl them around into the palm of your hand until some of the paint starts to wiggle its way out. And then turn the water on gently and do that same motion underneath the running faucet. And that will help gently remove all of the paint that's inside. The last step in washing brushes is just to take and make sure that the metal part of the brushes are also clean by using your fingers to make sure to get any excess paint off of them. Then they're of course stored with the bristles facing up in the cup. Like size brushes should be placed back with brushes their own size. So bristles that are tiny should be placed back in the cup that has tiny brushes in it. Bristles that are bigger should be placed back in the brush cup that has larger tops. When loading the drying rack, you always load it from the bottom up so that you can move the shelves in order to make space for the paper above yours. If you are using a sponge to wash the table off, it's important that after you get it wet in the sink that you squeeze out any of the excess water so that it's just damp to wipe the tables off. That way it prevents any puddles of water from accumulating on the tables and causing a bigger mess. When washing the tables, after using the sponge to clean with, some water can be left behind. So it's important that after you use the sponge that has been squeezed out, so if I squeeze it, maybe a couple of drops of water squeeze out, but not a lot. See, I'm squeezing it hard and just a few drops of water come out. Then after I've wiped off the messy spots, then it's good to go back over your table with a dry paper towel to clean up any excess mess and dry off the surface for the next class to come in. Paper towels should not be left on the table. They should be put into the garbage. If sponges are not available for cleaning, 
A damp paper towel can be used in replacement. All you do is get it a little bit wet so that it's not dripping everywhere, just a little bit of water. And then you can use this to wipe the table off just as you would a sponge. Not leaving a lot of water, as long as you just get it damp instead of soaking wet. And then that should be dried off with a dry paper towel after. If you would like to continue painting during art class, these expectations need to be followed. Everyone should be responsible for doing their part. If they finish early, they can help a friend or another table finish their cleanup. Thank you for listening and I hope we can continue to paint together this year.